Hello and welcome back everyone to our another early opening of Stellar Crown here for the our what is this the seventh main set for Scarlet and Violet how in the world are we already on to set number seven in year number two which means you know what that means if you are a advent or not advent but adamant Pokemon at TCG collector we are halfway through what is most likely going to be the Scarlet and Violet era we got an ETB here. A little bit damaged it actually came in, which is surprising because it I don't think it in the shipment it got damaged. That is possibly from pre-shipment. Although I maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there was a dent in the box that I just missed. But either way, we're opening it, so it doesn't really matter about the box at all. Regardless, I suppose I can get our knife and open it on up here nice and carefully. I know they always say give you open the not the sparkling new boxes, but all of the damaged boxes have the best hits. It is funny how sometimes that ends up being true. Of course, that doesn't actually affect anything, but just kind of a funny thing to go through. I got the player's guide there as well as the poster of the outer box, but don't need to go through all of that. Here is our cardboard insert with all of the pattern designs. We got our booster packs here, three, three, and three. So we got all nine booster packs. Sometimes forget how many come in an ETB. We've now had ETBs that have eight, nine, 10, and 11 booster packs. We got a dice and marker here. Standard in every ETB energy. This is the first set of new energy cards that we are seeing for Stellar Crown. We got some sleeves of the, what is it? Terra, Terra something Pokemon. And, ooh, look at this. This is something very interesting and new. Looks like our dividers and possibly even the code card are in a sealed promo with the promo itself, Noctowl. This is very weird. So here we go. Blackstar promo number 141. You can barely make out there. We are going to open this and take a look on the inside. I'll probably open one of them, and then when we open the Pokemon Center ETB, I'll keep those ones sealed. So there we go. Noctowl, which I actually didn't even realize Noctowl was the promo, but there we go. Noctowl's the promo for the ETB. Then we got ourselves a code card, and then you got your dividers. Interesting. Very, very interesting, and a little bit of a difference there in the ETB that they are starting, apparently. So we'll see if they continue doing that as we begin opening our first pack from our ETB here of Stellar Crown. Nine booster packs, so presumably we'll get an average of nine hits per ETB if you get a hit every three packs, which is, you know, roughly the case. Honestly, it's probably slightly better odds than one in three. It's like probably one in two and eight packs, but we'll round. We got River Room Reverse, and there we go. We'll start off with a hit right away. Mel Metal EX and a Psychic Type Energy. All right, one pack in, and we've already gotten our promo card and a EX card. So here we go. Next pack here starts off with Impidimp. You got Ponyta, Cubone, searching for its mother, Orcaberry, Crabominal, a Reverse Coridon, which is just uncommon in this set, Charge Bug, and a Kiracosta. Seems like we got a good amount of fossil Pokemon in the set, including the Gen 4 fossils and. What is it? Root Fossil and... What's the other one? Root and something else would be the fossils that I think are in this set as trainer cards or trainer support supporters, whatever. Frogadier, Coridon again, Gravard, Bombardier, and a Kling Kling Hollow card. There's a code card for someone out there. And we will continue going. Next pack on the day we'll have a cyclozar starting us off that's one of the most interesting pokemon that or one of the new pokemon that's the most interesting i should say Ooh, that's a new trainer card gravity gemstone don't recall that ever being a trainer card we got esparthra cling and raging bolt for the hollow and there is the new energy artwork if you have not seen it before but you most likely have Although I suppose the set is not technically out yet, so probably quite a few people have not actually 
seen not just the artwork, but the new energy style and all that. We got another pack here, and it did look like we have an ace trainer card here. We got Mewtwo as an uncommon. Interesting. Lacey. Celebi as an uncommon as well. Man, I got all of the legendaries here. We got a deluxe bomb. There we go. Number 134 in the set. Another, I love the love the Ace Trainer artwork and sparkles. And this one just looks even better than the Twilight Masquerade and Temporal Forces ones. I think there's three or four Ace specs in this set. So not a very large um, collection of them. As we have a Ledian there for our Hollow. So you open a booster box and presumably get two Ace specs. And then you're only missing one or two, I believe. So... Not too bad. I think there's only 11 or so illustration rares, a handful of gold and special illustration rares. So not the most difficult set to complete, if we're being honest. And that's good for us. Don't have to worry about opening too many packs to work on a master set and then buy the ones we still need. There we go. We got an iron boulder here for our next pack. And now we are two thirds of the way done. Here is our seventh of nine pack Let's see what it has for us. It's got a Chin Chow to start us off, Yamask, a Bombardier, Rhyhorn, an Electivire, Jirachi, Lapras, a Talonflame Reverse, Swalot, and a Noctowl. All right. Two packs to go. Let's see if we can get some type of secret rare card to go with our ace spec and regular ex card we got a froki a lediba fan rotom i wonder if all four rotom forms are actually in this set or not we got meltan and there we go we do have something an illustration rare of tornador there we go number 146 in the set and this reminds me of a specific character from ice age if you know you know we got an a new guy here we got the evolution of duraladon this must be a new new guy that i have not seen yet Archiladon must be part of the DLC in Sword and Shield because I do not recall seeing that in my playthrough, although I have not actually finished the game and obviously have not done the DLC yet. But either way, here we go with our last pack in an ETB. We got a Lechonk, everyone's favorite new Pokemon, Coridon. I wonder if Coridon's in the set, but not Maridon since we haven't seen it yet. Cubone. Electabuzz, and our last card will be an EX card, actually. Dosh Bon EX. So we actually will end with four hits, and there's the code. Four hits as well as our promo card, so a, a pretty solid box. We got Dosh Bon EX, illustration rare of Tornator. Deluxe Bomb, a spec. A, and I will say the A spec seems very thick. It almost feels like two cards every time it lifts up. Mel Metal EX and our promo Knock Towel number 141. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll give you a little sneak peek of tomorrow. Tomorrow we've got a full on booster box of Stellar Crown. So stay tuned for that. The official release date of Stellar Crown. And we will open this up tomorrow morning.